sister scientist is my way of just bashing those stereotypes of what a scientist or a chemist look like. The young girls who were told to play with Barbies and not chemistry sets, it's just really showing uh, those young ladies that they don't have to compromise who they are. Coming as one, but standing as the 10,000 who came before them. These are the women paving their own path, defying stereotypes, and breaking a lot of glass ceilings. I'm Noor Tagori, and this is A Woman's Job. So ready. All right. This makes you official. I'm an official scientist. You are official junior. <laughs> I really do feel official in this, though. Yeah, yes, it, it does make you official. All right, so you ready to get your hands dirty? I'm so ready. So this is where all the magic happens. Magic or madness? A little bit of both. It's, you know, cosmetic chemistry is 50% science and 50% art. That's what I say. So today, you are going to make your very own styling go. I'm so excited. This is Erica Douglas, also known as Sister Scientist. She's a cosmetic chemist, which means she's behind a lot of those beauty brands you see on store shelves. Lotions, hair gels, deodorant, that kind of thing. Plenty of women use these products, but not many make them. Only 23% of chemical engineers are women. That's created a lot of challenges for Erica, but also some unique opportunities. One of the reasons that I'm able to formulate as well as I do for women in particular is because I understand how the products work and the experience that you will have in a bathroom or wherever you are. Um, and I think that's my advantage over a male chemist, it's specifically in this space, is that I'm going to use the product in a way that he may never use it. Essentially, you learned how to cater to the consumers by being the consumer. Exactly. Yeah, so I think the best creators of products are the consumers of those products. What do you think is the typical image of a chemist in the average person's head? Male. So like most of the images I saw growing up were um, men in science. One of the big things was, mom, why doesn't my hair look like the, the other blonde hair, blue eyed girls? And when you get in the pool, like why does my hair change when it gets wet, but their hair stares straight? So I was always trying to find things to kind of fit in. So when people say, oh my goodness, I love this product, I can't live without it, it really like kind of touches me in a special place here because I was always that person looking for stuff and wanting to try stuff and find solutions for like the skin and hair problems that I had. So where did the name Sister Scientist come from? Stereotypically, men have been portrayed predominantly in these more scientific and technological kind of spaces. And so putting the two words together almost seemed like foreign. So to see them together like that makes people really think twice. As a young girl, to know that there's a sister scientist out there um, is powerful, I think. It is officially a gel now. Yay! Major I'm a chemist, guys. 